You want to learn Kiana? You found the best video. I'm currently 60 LP in my last year with 86% win rate, but my Kiana is 90% win rate right now. I played her jungle multiple times before and this video will cover the basics. How to clear, how do you gank, and how to path. Let's get right into it, boys. All right, guys, you can see this is me in a game playing jungle and we're gonna cover the clear and show you guys how to clear with Kiana jungle. It's always simple. You always wanna start with your bottling is to get the best leash possible. And you want to start with W and you wanna W a brush every time. Because once you start with brush and then you auto attack once, you wanna take wall and start kiting towards the bottling, right? If we already pause this, it's, it's small details, but it's important when you learn jungle. The reason you wanna auto attack and then kite back is because you wanna take as less damage as possible. And you also want the blue nuts to stay here. You want the blue to move towards your ball lane. so not only you don't lose as much hp right because the blue is kind of running wasting time not hitting you because if you stand still it's going to hit you every time right you have to, to hit him then you run you hit him then you run but it also makes your ball lane be able to lock to lane faster because they're they're more towards their lane so they're not going to lose any minions that's really important so just the basic right there keep resetting your passive as soon as your w is up as you can see i i, I started with brush right auto attack i w the wall why you reset the passive damage you do more damage you clear faster i auto attack as soon as my w is up what i do i take brush here again why could we set the passive again right <clears throat> With Kiana, every time you reset your Jones passive, fast, every time you change your elements, you do more damage. Small details like that. If your leash is good, never smite the first buff. <clears throat> As you can see, I'm kiting. <clears throat> I did level 2. I Q, and then I old. I old the second Q. Why? Because here's when you want to smite Grump, right? To get it below half HP, so your Q does bonus damage. As you can see with Kiana, when the target is below 50% damage, you do bonus damage. And as you can see here, I just finished the two camps at 2 minutes, which is really fast, with... Uh, half HP, but I still have my potion left. Now we go on Wolf. What I do? I grab Brush again. I get an auto attack in here. Right? Start cutting. You see the movement? You always want to auto attack, then you back off. Auto attack, back off. People say, I play jungle, but I can't clear. I'm going to die. The reason is you don't kite. You need to auto attack and move. Auto attack and move. Right? As you can see, cutting right here. <clears throat> and this demonstration is going to be a full clear. Right? This is not going to be with any ganks. The reason I'm not ganking is because I finished clearing my whole side. I'm level 3 and I look balling. Is it possible to gank? No. Why? They're almost full HP, right? But most importantly, they're way too deep. I'm going to waste my time. Don't go balling. The only reason I would go balling here is to counter a gank. I'm going to talk about that in a later section. So as you can see, I keep going. Now I'm going to go for the Raptors. As you can see me paying. I want my team to ward here. here. Always use base Q before you W. Don't, don't forget. W resets your base Q cooldown so you want to always always chew and then you want to w right also use your e as you can see here i'm warding my red making sure i don't get invaded the kiting could have been better there you see how i didn't really kite that much i was kind of worried of getting invaded so i was kind of being worried a little bit you see that's also why i'm going all the other way so this is a special situation don't do that in your game because you're most likely not gonna get invaded if you're this you're probably learning lower elo as you can see i'm going on the red now auto attack walk away auto attack walk away right pretty straightforward as you can see, you always want to go in the bush when you clear your camp, especially the red bug. You want to be in that bush. Why? Because you can't get invaded from here and you want to see that people coming up so you can get away, right? That's really important. As you can see, don't need to auto attack. The pet's going to kill the buff for you. I look at Talon to see if I could gank. I see not, not really possible to gank, so let me do golems. The thing with Kiana, even if you clear good, you're going to be really low HP after you full clear. So you want to recall unless you see a gank. And we're going to see a gank right here. Just wait a second. As you can see, I'm getting pretty low here, right? Getting pretty low. I might get level four, right? I'm starting to recall right away. You don't want to gank, but I could gank, but this is warded here and Diana's here. Right? That's important to look at the movement in lane. You probably didn't notice earlier, but I didn't say on purpose. When you clear, you always want to look at the map and look at the enemies because earlier, if you go back in the video, you're gonna see Jax walk down here and he clearly plays so hard. Why was Jack walk all the way here? It's obvious he's gonna ward, right? So with that information, I know that it's warded. So even so if I want to gank, I stay out of vision. That's why I stay behind this wall, right? I know it's warded. But I'm still hovering. I'm not recalling in China. I'm, China. I'm recalling closest to the area I could recall without getting seen by the minions and without getting seen by the ward. And I'm just patient because I know if Jax chews the Riven, we could kill him. So I'm just waiting, right? I'm waiting. I see Riven engaging, so I cancel my base, right? As you can see, she's engaging. And here I come. And Riven flashes out. We get the first blood really, really clean. So sometimes, even after you full clear, just opportunity to gank. Let's see another scenario where you could always three camp and then look for a gank. All right, guys, in this example, we're going to cover the level three gank, how to clear on one side and then look for a gank. So in this game, as you can see, it's clearing, changing element, right? 
uh, kiting like I showed you guys, right? It's gonna smite the blue because the leash was not that good. If the leash is good, don't smite the blue, smite the ground. But in that case, the leash wasn't that good, so he's smiting the blue. One important factor that is really, honestly, it's the most important when you play jungle, and nobody talks about this, you need to know where the enemy jungle started. So if we go back, it's really simple how to know this. You just look at the lanes. You look at top and you look at bot, and you see which champion are coming in later. As you can see, top is already fighting. Maokai is already in lane. And what happened? You look at bot, do you see they're coming in late? What does that mean? That means that they leash. So you know that Massey started red. This is really important and it's gonna be important also down the line. I'm gonna explain why later on. You see, a mistake he's doing right here, he's not kiting as much as he should. And second mistake Beffing is doing is he's grabbing grass, right? When he should be grabbing wall to do more 50% more damage on the ground. So you can see the best players in the world, like Beffing, already making mistakes. Obviously, he's not a kind of jungle main, he's a mid main, so it's a big of a difference. But you can see the difference in HP. Look at his HP and look at my HP when I clear in the previous part of the video. You see the difference already. What does that do? You could get invaded because of that. Because good junglers know Kenna doesn't clear good, so they're going to invade you. Um... That's just uh, beside the point though, but as you can see, he's doing the wolves now. It's gonna get the clear on the wolves, right? He's looking at mid. You see the way he's clearing, he's looking also at mid. Okay, I could gank mid. Boom, gets invaded, gets a level three, go for the brush. Masi, I don't know what invade that is. That is terrible. As you can see, he's level three now. Now looking for a gank could not be that good, but he's still looking. Why? Because Kled is low, and this is how you gank. Now you need to grab ice. There it is, grabs ice, and he looks for mid. As you can see, there's, okay, let me pause right here. There's two windows, right? When you, you clear a side, like he cleared the whole side, here's level 3, boom, what do we do? He would walk, obviously, he would walk um, this way right here, right? He would walk like this to go mid. But obviously, Massey was there, so what does he do? He goes the opposite side, right? So every time you level 3, the, the blue side, or if you start red, uh, red side, you could clear the red side, you want to look to either go this way or go this way. And the same concept if you're di there, right? You could go this way or you go this way. And there's a lot, lot, lot of time where it's gonna be able, uh, a free gank's gonna be available, right? You could look mid, boom, or look bot, and you see a free gank. Boom, there it is. Waits patiently, he's gonna wait for the CC. Gregas goes in, comes in, and gets the first blood. Just like that, level three gank, easy kill. Most games that you guys play will be able to do ganks like either mid or top, or even bot. So you need to look at the map and know when to level three gank when it's right, when it's wrong. And if it's two fours, don't go for it. But if it's right, like in this case, just go for it, all right? All right, guys, in this part, we're gonna cover the lane ganks. Lane ganks is in situations that it's really particular. And let me pause it right there to explain. When you see your bot is fighting heavily and they're pretty high HP and the bot is low HP, obviously you're gonna try to put pressure to kill the enemy bot The thing is, the enemy jungle is most likely gonna come, especially when you're back clearing your bot side. If the enemy jungle also started bot side, like this game happened, right? We remember when Befeng went on wolves, Massey invaded with the red. What does that mean? Massey started red, right? So when Befeng started blue, Massey started red. So that means that when Befeng's gonna clear his grump, like he was doing literally five seconds ago, right? If we go back, right? Right now he's hitting the grump. What does that mean? That means that Massey was clearing his golems or his raids, right? Because that's what Massey was doing. Massey started on the same side. So you need to see it like, if you're on your blue side, Massey's on his red side, because that's where he started. So you know what enemy jungle is. So with that information, you know that Massey could be ganking bot. So let's play now, see how it goes. You see he's looking. So he knows that Massey could be going bot and he also knows he could kill. So this is a rare situation where you wanna counter gank and go for a link gank, right? Probably rewarded, so it goes by the lane. Look how he ganks this, right? Really important. Small details. Boom. He sees now that yeah, his bowling got the kill, but his bowling is low. We know Massey is probably going to come. And there it is. Massey is there. You might ask yourself, oh, how does he know Massey is there? I just explained to you. So that means that Massey is now here. What do you do? You counter gank. Pretty simple, all right? See, Massey is coming here. Fosh's buffer on the Amber Dinger. Watch my other kind of guy to learn how to buffer and gets a double kill. How? Because of a counter gank. Because he knows that if his grump is up, right? That means that Massey bot side is up. So where's going to be Massey is going to be bot side as well. So if we download this bot right now, what we're going to see is Massey did golems and then he... That's literally Massey patting. While Befeng was doing the, the grump, where, where was Massey? Massey was on golems doing them and then walking this way to then gank ball lane, right? Pretty simple. So this is how you identify enemy jungle padding. This is how you know where they're going to be in real time. You just look at your camps, your padding, and if you keep doing the same padding, you're going to know where the enemy... You're gonna know where the enemy jungle is and where it's gonna be. Pretty simple, all right? All right, for the build, it's really simple. You wanna go blue smite every game. You wanna get Dirk as fast as possible to rush into Prowlers, which is the best mythic on Kenna right now. Then you wanna finish boots after Prowlers, and then you wanna go Serpents or Yumus, depending on the enemy comp. I know I don't really uh, recommend Yumus that much, but on jungle, it's really good because the high movement speed, a lot of tempo on the map, right? If they have shields, an important target, let's say they have a Draven, Samura on the EDCs, a lot of shields, 
you want to go Serpents, you have to, right? Item is pretty good right now because a lot of people build Shovel, right? And then you want to go Grudge Third, you want to go Black, Cleaver, and you want to finish off with GA, all right? That's just the same build every game, pretty simple, straightforward, all right? All right, for the runes, pretty simple. You want to go these runes every single game. No other runes are better than these runes. Please go these runes, do not listen to other people. These are the best runes by far. All right, guys, so for the combos and the team fight, I already made another kind of guide explaining those more. So go check that guide out. Explain it, you know, it would make no sense to do it twice. Just go watch that video so you could see the combos in details over there in that video. The reason I did this basic kind of jungle guide is because you guys in the comment got more than 50 likes, which I said I was going to do the guide if you guys got it and you guys got it. So thank you so much. If you guys want me to do like a more macro guide on how to play lane with Kiana, if this video gets like 800 uh, likes, I'll, be, I'll do it. If it doesn't get 800 likes, I'm not going to do it. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. If you want to see Kiana more in depth, if you want to learn Kiana more in depth, just watch my channel. So thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. And I'll see you guys soon. Take care.